there, my horrific following. Thanks for stopping back in for night eight of this wheel of wailing and woe. I've been thinking about what I'd like to be for Halloween and which mask I should wear, though I do like my mask. It holds some special meaning for sure. But then again, maybe others out there feel the same as well. Have a favorite pick of Halloween facades? Listen to the like-minded in tonight's little story that I like to call My Mask. Halloween is such a great time of year. It's a time of tradition and the welcoming of things unwanted most of the year. It's a time of not fearing death, but embracing it. It's also a time of shedding personal identity, the occasion of being whoever or whatever you want. Some say it's to keep evil warded, to repel the sinister things that may come lurking near to your firesides on Halloween night. But I know for a fact that that's nothing but superstition and hearsay. If something truly evil wanted to do you harm or infiltrate your defenses, it's going to. Whether you're wearing a mask or not, lighting jack-o'-lanterns, or even paying respect at all. No. Halloween is just fun, plain and simple. Some people like to change it up year to year, always pretending to be somebody different. One year, an axe murderer, and the next, a unicorn. Me? I'm not quite so interesting. I wear the same old jacket, gloves, dirty jeans, and silly mask every single year. The jacket, lettered. The mask, topped with a brimmed hat. And the mask itself, wrinkled and bulbous-nosed. What is it? It's a baseball player's costume, of course. But why this costume, you may ask? Well, it's not that it's overly interesting or even holds any sentimental value. It's that it allows me to, like in true tradition of the holiday, be someone else for a night. Because I may have long fingers tipped with sharp nails and a smile adorned with serrated and blood-stained teeth and beady, jaundiced yellow eyes. But what I look like on Halloween night is just like everyone else. Well, for those of you who wanted a face reveal, think again before asking for what lies beneath may be more unlike the rest than you might realize. But if mystery is what you crave, sleuth your way back here again for tomorrow, for night nine of this murder fest. Okay, since you asked so nicely. <laughs>